what's up guys? In today's video, tayo ay gagawa ng isang reaction video sa isa sa pinakasikat ngayon na arkitekto sa Pilipinas, si Architect Lian Austria. So magre-react tayo ngayon sa kanyang very first construction vlog. Kaya kung interested ka, panoorin mo ang video na to. By the way guys, ang mga pala si Maro Rico, isang construction civil engineer na based sa California. So now, let's proceed to the video. Bang, bang. Archivlog 001 Construction Ito ba yung bahay na ginawa niya ng house tour nung recently lang? Parang ito yun yung ginawa niya na reaction video. Guys, so this is like my first uh, probably daily vlog. So, yeah, I think I'll try to make daily vlogs of uh, my everyday construction life. Now, we're going to fetch Crystal. But before that, uh, we have to go back to the house because I forgot my wallet. <laughs> Son of a ding dongs, man. Alam nyo ba na sign ng pagiging matalino, umataas ang IQ pag makakalimutin ka? Ako bang pangalan ko? Limit ako. Sabi nila eh. I forgot my wallet. But, uh, we to have to go back lugar. for my wallet because. Asan to na lugar? Puro mga pine trees. Baka sa bagyo. Got my wallet and one spare battery for the A6500. Now time to go fetch Crystal. Sino si Crystal? Baka kapatid niya. Kapatid, kaibigan, katrabaho. Mamaya magkita natin siguro si Crystal. Alright, we got Crystal. There she is. We are going to... Yay! Ah, baka uyab. Eh, uyab. Baka kasintahan niya. Yay! Drop her off at her office. And then we are going back to the construction site. She's gonna go drop drop by Jollibee and buy uh, some tuna pies. I think it should be called tuna pie. Because it's like tuna pie na tuna yung laman. <laughs> or something. Ano? Matagal na pala siyang nagjo-joke ng mga tito jokes niya. <laughs> Tuna pai, tuna pai. Okay, witi, witi. Thank you. All right, we got our tuna pies, guys. Onwards to Berkeley. I don't know why I pointed in this sky. Berkeley. Sana Berkeley. Epic if you point at the sky. See you later. Yeah, see you later. All right, dropping off Crystal. Walang it's a success keys? now. We're going to head on to the construction site to check what the workers are doing. Let's go. There's the site, guys. All right, so the site is like a through lot. So it has a bottom part and a top part. Right now, we are going to the bottom road. Okay, guys. So nabanggit niya dito ang through lot. Ano ba ang through lot? So through lot is a type ng lote kung saan nagko-connect siya ng dalawang streets. Yung dalawang streets is parallel sa isa't isa. Then, kung lote is dumediretso from one street to another, through lot ang tawag dyan. Okay, let's proceed. Here we are. That's the site. Mm, yun ang site nila. Patapos na yung building? Ito ba? Kung puti? Or itong nasa tabi niya? Malalaman natin yan pag pinanood natin. Okay. <laughs> So nakikita nyo dito, gumagamit sila ng manual steel bender. So ito ginagamit nila for bending reinforcement bars or reinforcement steel. So ang advantage ng manual steel benders is hindi niya kailangan ng power source. Portable siya, pwede mo siyang dalhin kahit saan. And also, easy to operate. Kagawin mo lang, i-grab mo yung lever, ipupush mo siya para mabend mo yung steel depende sa angle na kailangan mo. So pwede 90 degrees, pwede 180 degrees. Depende sa kailangan mong angle. Right, so it's 10 o'clock. Uh, that means it is break time here at the construction site so I think I'll just like give you a quick tour since it's break time and nobody's gonna be using power tools nothing will interfere with my audio so I'll just give you guys a quick tour of the site the warehouse and then that right there is the barracks usually pag sa start ng construction may tinatawag tayong mobilization yan yung dinadala nila sa site lahat ng mga equipment ng mga materiales Tapos ginagawa nila yung barracks nila, warehouse. Yan yung ginagawa sa mobilization na period. So sa warehouse, dun mo makikita yung mga kagamitan sa for construction. For example, yung mga bakal, yero, 
mga tornilyo, ano ba, pako, yung mga makikita yun sa warehouse. Kung sa warehouse, andun ang mga materialis, sa barracks naman, andun yung mga tao. So, mga labor, construction workers, foreman, engineer, architect, lahat ng tao sa construction, dyan mo sila makikita sa barracks. For example, break time nila, lunch time, dyan yun sila tumatambay. Okay, so the barracks is like currently under construction. Also, this warehouse. Let's, let's try to go in the warehouse. Oh, watch your head. Watch. Oh, man. Almost hit my head there. Okay. So, isang napansin ko dito, guys, is walang PPE or Personal Protective Equipment si Arkelian. Maybe because initial phase pa siya ng construction. Kaya hindi siya nagsuot ng hard hat, o kaya ng boots, o kaya ng vest. Pero usually talaga, dapat always yung tandaan na safety is always first in a construction site. So, kailangan always wear PPE. So, the entrance is supposed to be somewhere here. Start right there. That's super exhausting. That's, that's the warehouse now. Just gotta, gotta find a way outside the warehouse. Ah. Alright. This is the main construction site, guys. Just haven't really done anything yet except some minor excavation work. We did layouting right there. This supposed ah, ito yung main construction site nila. Ibig sabihin, hindi pa ata sila nagsastart sa project. So, kung nakikita nyo, nag-excavate pa sila. Usually, pag sa early stages ng construction, ang ginagawa nila isang excavation and grading ng area. Bago ka humukay at galawin mo mga lupa dyan, kailangan mo munang mag-consult sa isang geotechnical engineer. Lalo sa site na to dahil kung napansin nyo dito, balik tayo ha. Anything yet except some minor excavation. Napansin nyo dito, hindi level yung area. Ibig sabihin, iba-iba yung elevation ng, ng lupa. Pag ganyan yung situation, ibig sabihin, mas tricky ang pag-design ng mga foundation for that structure. So di ba sinabi ko sa inyo nung mga nakaraan kong video, ang construction is hindi siya one-man show. Isa siyang team effort. So geotechnical engineer yung mag-a-assess sa site, mag-gather ng mga soil samples, magkakandak ng lab tests. Sila rin ang magre-recommend kung anong klaseng foundation na mag-a-apply sa area na to. I don't know where to pass. Let's pass here. It's probably not a good idea. Oh, there we go. I plan to climb this steep deep mountain thing to here so right now the site is currently littered with all our existing forms right there rocks column forms and beam forms okay forms nabanggit niyang forms dito may dalawang klase ng forms vertical forms and horizontal forms Vertical forms para yun sa mga concrete walls, columns, and also stairs mo. Horizontal forms naman para yan sa mga beams, ceilings, floors, and also mga pathway. So, importante ang forms para sa early stages ng construction. Dahil pag nagbubuhos ka, yung concrete fluid siya, di ba? So, yung forms na yun, yun yung magsusupport sa concrete na yun habang basa pa siya. Para habang hinihintay mo na matayo siya, at least supported yung concrete na binuhos mo. And let's go under the shade. Okay guys, so this is where we keep all of our reinforcing bars. We call this deformed bars. So it's important to keep your deformed bars out of the weather. So that's why we put this whole tarpaulin uh, situation right here. So that they don't rust because that's gonna like deteriorate the quality or the strength of the metal. So, so tama si Arkelian dito guys. As much as possible, kailangan i-keep mo yung mga reinforcing steels nyo sa isang area na wala ganong init o hindi siya nauulanan. So what Manong Ping is doing here right now is called a parilla, Tagalog of basically what the uh, reinforcement for the foundation or the footing will be. Tagalog is parilla. Right now. Oh, hindi <laughs> ko alam yun na. Ang Tagalog pala ng footing is parilla. So good to know. So guys, baka nagtataka kayo, but parating may bakal na ginagamit sa isang construction o sa isang structure. Kasi ganito yan, ginagamit ang mga steel para i-compensate kung ano mang pagkukulang ng strength ng concrete. Kasi concrete alone, hindi siya matibay. Brittle siya eh. So, force lang na gawin mo dyan, madugmok. Ay, madugmok. Ma madurog siya, madudurog siya. So, yung steel, yun yung nagko-compensate sa kakulangan ng strength ng concrete. For example, may lindol. So, pag lindol, pag yung concrete mo, wala siyang steel, kunting yanig lang, guguho agad yung building. Pero kung may steel yung concrete mo, pag lumindol, magka-crack muna siya. Ibig sabihin, yun yung warning signs na yung building is guguho na. So, pag nag-crack na, tatakbo ka na. Makakatakbo ka pa. So, maliligtas ka pa. Okay? Yun yung importansya ng steel na as complementary material for concrete. Alright, so, I would say the barracks is like 50% complete. They can just put their things there and live there, basically. 
Anyways, right now we are going to fetch Crystal and then we are going to go to SM to grab a bite to eat because I am super starving. And then... Crystal's here. Yeah. Sana all may kadate after trabaho, di ba? <laughs> Sana all may dewa. Sana all mahal. And we're here at SM Parking, guys. I guess I'll end the vlog here. See you guys on the next vlog. Tapos na? Bitin! <laughs> So yun nga guys, sobrang refreshing lang ng ang construction vlog ni Lian. Lian, close kami. Sobrang refreshing lang ng vlog ni Arky Lian dahil parang parang bagong flavor na naman eh. Di ba sanay na tayo na nagre-reaction video siya. Pero pag, pag vlogging style naman na video, parang bagong flavor naman ang nabibigay niya sa atin. So hopefully, hindi naman natin siya pressure pero sana in the future, mas marami pa siyang gawing mga construction vlog videos para mas marami rin tayong matutunan sa mismong construction site, di ba? Alright guys, kung nagustuhan niyo yung video na to, please hit that like button. Malaking tulong na yan guys para recommend ni YouTube ang video natin sa mas marami pang tao. So, hit that like. Smash that like button. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Bye!